<sighs> Morning, Cedric. Uh, it doesn't look like the region's in. <clears throat> Must have stayed at the apothecary last night. And then I suppose we're up for a walk to start out. Yeah. Um. Have you been paid recently? No. Yeah, me neither. Um. See, technically, Lady Blackwell is supposed to be the one to pay us. Um. <clears throat> Sounds like a conversation that we will have to have today when we go to the manor. Yeah, let's hope we make it back. No. Let's... The doors are locked. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's go uh, get the tavern cook and then we can <sighs> head back up there, I guess. Yes, please, during daylight. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, let's get this done as soon as possible. I am blanking on the cook's name. I'll remember it when I <laughs> see him, I hope. I hope so too, otherwise I'll just call him Cook. I hope Kaylin's okay. It's okay. I'm in no rush to be back there. Probably smart. <clears throat> Although I'd almost say the opposite. I'm in at a loss, very much of a rush, just so I can leave that much quicker. You have a strange perception on the world, Cedric. I just like to deal with pain faster than slower. Hmm. Uh, I'll stop by the apothecary and inform the regent. Yeah, ask him if there's anything we need to take up there. Aye, aye. Erk. Hello? Nathaniel. Good morning, Miss Drake. Um, do you have a moment? Uh, certainly. What is it? I was wondering if I could commission something from you. Well, certainly. What would you like? How much would a, uh, a backpack or a satchel or something of that cost? Uh, it's... A satchel would be around, mm, about like 15 copper, something like that, or 15 crowns, since cloth has been scarce, it's been a little difficult. If I pay you double that, can you make it a priority? Yeah, 
I, I could. It... Great. How long would it take, roughly? Uh, and uh, give me an hour or two, and I can I can get that to you. Fantastic. I'm uh, heading up to the manor today, so when I come back, I will pick it up from you. Here's your crowns. There, there. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Miss Drake. I'll be seeing you shortly. I appreciate it. All right. I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I can, Nathaniel. Thank you, Miss Drake. Chat, I have 45 crowns. Make a note. Can't seem to find the cook. Morning. Morning. Oh, that's a rough. Um, did you find the regent? Morning. There's a. I did. Hello. How goes the whipping today? <laughs> Snapping good. Is this something you wanted to tell us about your time away? Anywho, uh, Regent was in fact in there. Uh, he has a note for us to deliver to Lady Blackwell on his desk. Uh, we can grab on the way over. <clears throat> sure. I just would like to move away from the apothecary at this point. Feel uncomfortable. Right. Let's uh, let's take our walk then. I guess. <clears throat> I didn't see Mister Longbeck when I was in there. Or I knocked on his door and he didn't answer. Or maybe he's under the weather today. Possibility. Let me just duck in one more time. Nope. <clears throat> Still empty. I guess we just go ourselves. Uh, it's not up to us to do the cook job. But I don't, I'm not sure what to do on that one. <clears throat> Let's just grab this letter and make our way over there. How did the region seem? Well, with what was happening in the apothecary, it would be hard for anybody to be happy. It's tense right now. Yeah, that was much the case yesterday the as well. Phrase it. well. When I went in, Kaylin was screaming. Really? All I could hear from the other room. Do you know what she was screaming about? No idea. She just kept saying no. Hmm. I haven't the faintest idea what it could have meant, or what it was in <clears throat> terms of. She was badly injured. Only right, she's afraid. Yeah, by what, though, is the question. I have the letters. And no idea what did, what, whatever did that to her was. Well, I would like to say it wasn't human, but. You would like to say that? Yeah, it would just be nice to have a faith in humanity kind of thing, but everybody in the fucking town has been weird lately. Nothing is the same. No, it's definitely gone downhill these last couple of weeks, for sure.
Help. Well, I suppose we have a hike to do. Uh huh. <sighs> Red. Morning. Good morning. Have any of you seen the region this Ooh. morning? Nice. Apothecary. Yeah. I'll be heading there myself then. Make a hole. Make a hole. <laughs> well. Oh, that's a lovely scene. <clears throat> one vagabond and one running merchant on our path. What could ever go wrong? Well, I feel like if there was something out here snatching people up, they would have been snatched, right? I'm not worried about being snatched up at this point. I'm just worried about finding something. <clears throat> it's Miss Thorne. The statuette, actually. Um. Ah. Uh, no, it's moving now. All right. <laughs> it's Headaches. A wax yeah. statue. Happens to the best of us. Let's uh, let her clear our head, I suppose. <laughs> it's this town, it does funny things to people. Her? I thought that was a, a, a man. Is it? Pretty sure. Oh. I didn't assume. As, as, far, as, as far as I've been told. <clears throat> I'm terrible at this. This is the, you know, this is like the third time that's happened to me. Always a surprise. Oh, I mean, I definitely have no knowledge from another realm in my brain telling me certain things to say, so it's fine. Right. Right. <laughs> that would be unprofessional of me, obviously. <laughs> I have voices in my head, and they use emotes. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. They come to me, and they understand. Mm. They talk to me. <clears throat> oh. Chat, start a timer for how long it takes me to get to the Blackwell Manor, please. Add like another minute or so onto it. <clears throat> I'm uh gonna time in my head how long it takes us to walk this distance just for funsies. <laughs> yes, please. I would love to tell whatever god created this universe to go fuck themselves. I'm sure they have their reasons. Yeah. To be a dick. More like, oh no, they're walking to the manor. We need to get into position. <laughs> Thank god it takes them 20 minutes. Thank god it takes them two years. It's been 84 years, Cedric. Well, I did just leave. <laughs> there are some large trees here. Yeah, we never cut on this side of town. No, they always cut on the other side for some reason. I think it's closer. I mean, do you want to be hauling logs that far, all the way through town? I would like to cut the more wood possible. If you think about it, eventually they're going to have to go this way. It'll take time for any trees to regrow on the other side of town. Well, if we live that long. It's true. You know, for all the jokes we make about dying all the time, I can only really think of one 
town member that died. Oh. Yeah, that was that crazy man who kept going out in the middle of the night to the woods by himself. Well, there was the merchant who showed up, and he promptly. The merchant really didn't count to me. What do you mean he doesn't count? He's a person. He wasn't a member of the town. He was a guest. Okay, what about um, the young guy, the forager? What's his name? Right, Lucas. Lucas. Guy. I, I keep forgetting because everyone that talked to me told me he went missing and they were looking for him. And I didn't find out until much later through hearing someone else talk about it that he died. <laughs> it was gruesome. I don't want to know the details. Good. Yeah, I don't I like, like being out here. Horribly gruesome is the go-to adjective for it. I'm not keen on that information. No. Cedric. Someday, someday I want to be able to walk like you with a straight back. <laughs> <coughs> it's all in the posture. Yeah, unfortunately my upper back Absolute shite. I'll fix it, I swear. Whoa. What? Well, we found the Necronomicon. So, <laughs> sacrifice one Cedric. No, no, no. <clears throat> I was bored and kind of horny, figured I'd pick up a book called the Necronomicon. I no, Cedric, we don't fuck with the... And the dance, and much to my surprise, I found an ancient deity with tentacles and glowing eyes. You're the reason everyone's fucking dying, aren't you? Well, he poured some wine and said, let's have some fun, but I showed him why they call me the Deep One. <clears throat> What the f- I'm just very impressed that I was able to quote all of that without actually singing it. That's so impressive. I have a small attention span for things like that. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you, uh, receive anything for the Eve yesterday? Uh, um, yes. Oh. Why did you not? You no. Pick your flower? No. It just kind of made me realize a couple things, I guess. No. We preach unity and togetherness in that town, but everyone's basically strangers. Exactly. I don't know, I don't feel any real strong connection to anyone. <laughs> and I feel like no one really cares about me. I mean. Let's be honest, Cedric, we're pretty low on the pecking order when it comes winter time and we have to start rationing. Yeah, well. If we make it that. Well, I like you too, Cedric. Yep. No one else has to walk in our shoes. Literally, I fucking hate these things. I want boots. Boots would be nice, but they wouldn't match the outfit. They would look workery. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'll ch I would change uniforms in a heartbeat for something comfortable. Right, well, let's ask Lady Blackwell about our uh, payment, and then you can change your clothes. Of course, yes. Let's ask her about a uniform change. I'm thinking an adventurer theme to the manor, so that I can wear comfortable clothing for this godforsaken hike. Especially in the winter, please let me wear a coat. A coat would be nice.
are sometimes when I just look out in the direction while we're on the hike and I think about how pretty it is. Oh. And then I think about that night when we did the dinner and I think about that exact same view and how horrifying it was. Yeah. Context, huh? I suppose it changes things. I'm just glad we're not doing this at night time. You good? <laughs> the universe called to me. Its song was entrancing. Oh my gosh. When the universe calls, you do not simply ignore it. What does the universe sound like? It sounds like stuttering. <laughs> and emptiness. Great. I'll call it. This is <laughs> You know, this would be a great place to put a manor or something. <laughs> Slaps hood. <laughs> can hold so many manners. I'm I'm curious if we can see the town from here. I'm gonna I'm gonna scream. No, God, we we're ready to go to the manor, Mister God. Understood. I will will relay this to the people in need. Mm hmm. I get they're probably busy. What I will say is, that it's very terrifying when you press the button and you see the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, <laughs> so far away. It's coming! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's freaks. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is very serious. Oh yeah. That's just, that's so horrifying. I'm stuck in the Cedric voice, Oak. This is bad. Better to be st stuck in the voice than voiced in the stuck. It's true, unfortunately. Hello? <laughs> no, she's in. <laughs> oh my god. They're getting things set. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sprix doesn't scare me often, but that one got me. <laughs> Tutor between your legs. What the fuck? <laughs> god touched me. <laughs> <laughs> Show us on the doll where God touched you and know that this doesn't- <laughs> No, don't, I don't like it when that girl goes, mmm, blessed are the child. Save you. Child, blessed be my name. My name is- uh, What is my name? What is my purpose? <laughs> Hello, Master. Why, why did you create me? What is my- Your purpose, well, your purpose is to cut butter. Oh god. Oh. <clears throat> For the record, 11 minutes. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it was, honestly. I feel it really felt like we were going faster today, too. Yeah, it does, yeah. We got out fucking like speed, you know, like the 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 mums, like the wine mums that do like this the speed walking around with like the little weights. Really, we're doing yeah, that. <laughs> I feel like they did a fantastic job of scaring us. <laughs> There's a little pep in our step. <laughs> um, no, I'm not fucking spending any more time than I need to in the woods. <laughs> no, I don't don't need to be here. That's okay. Thank you. <clears throat> hey guys, if you have magic on mm -hmm. your friends, let's just request on. I don't think I do. Uh, you can request on me then. Okie doke. 
Anybody else hate how it moves with your headset now? Uh, you can turn it off, can't you? Yes. What? What moves with your headset? Mine doesn't move. Fucking Take care of Mine doesn't. Yeah. What are you doing? Do I have magic? I don't have magic. I'm just gonna wait for Spricks. That's a good idea. I'm pretty cool sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have magic on... He says if you don't have them on your friends list, then you're dead to him. Oh. Well, I'm about to ask Lady Blackwell for money, so I'm probably dead anyway. It's true. <laughs> Give me my fucking money! I do have him as a friend. Oh. But it's not showing up on my list. I had to literally search him. He's not. We clean the manor so good, there's no manor remaining. I'm just good at my job, Nathaniel. Mana can't be haunted if there is no mana. <sighs> Look at them down there. Aminos. <clears throat> you see, Miss Blackwell, it's been... Seven days since our last payment. <laughs> and I need to buy a few things today. Yeah, the townsfolk march up in pitchforks, there's just fucking no mana there. <laughs> it's just gone. What the fuck? <clears throat> Zeltrock, thank you so much. <laughs> God, I'm a, I'm a tired servant boy. <clears throat> About that. You see, what happened was, we got a lot of skateboards, okay? And we lifted the banner up. <laughs> <laughs> Blackwell's moving mana. <clears throat> hey, bitch! Where's my fucking money? <laughs> you ain't get me my money. For some reason, it do you don't show up on my friends list. Like when I go to my social page, it you don't show up anywhere. Yeah, and somehow you were what? Right last time. Yeah. Ma Ma magic, you. you you unfriended I me. How how could you? I, I we were definitely friends before. See. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I'm sure I don't need to uh, worry about money, but do we just teleport right? Yeah, yeah, you guys are good to teleport. What the fuck? We have to keep walking? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to where we were before I start again. Because we made that whole hike and then requested. So I'm going I'm going up here and then I will start. <laughs> <clears throat> right about here is where I requested. Suddenly I just turned Irish. That was fucking weird. Oh, fucking hell. What kind of thing? Where's Blackwell? Oh, Where's oh, that oh, fucking oh, money? 
All right, ready? I'm sorry. Is that rock swaying? <laughs> Hold on. Before I do anything else, map report. What kind of mushrooms um, were that mushroom stew? Bad. <laughs> um. Can wait? Should I pose with what it? Would this count as? <laughs> Technical uh, difficulties. I'm doing the report. Tech, I guess. Um. Da -da 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 -da, uh. Rock. Wing. Did, did you get it? I'm not taking a picture yet. <laughs> if I, I don't even think a picture would help. You can say the rock. I'm just gonna point at it. I think it like auto takes a so picture from what you're looking at. <laughs> well, I, I, I said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, ready? <laughs> I just turned for a random reason and I just saw it. <clears throat> Alright, here we Oh Holy shit. I lost every frame looking at the church. That's a good sign, right? Oh boy. Well, we made it. Um are we oh, here we go, another day, I suppose. So, are you gonna ask, or should I? I feel like you know how I'm going to answer that. <sighs> well, Cedric, it was nice knowing you. I'll tell the region you loved him. <laughs> Don't lie to him like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him you thought of him at least once today. check those hinges <clears throat> right right um, I suppose I'll see if Lady Blackwell is around if you want to start on the windows and the shelves the is quiet this morning <clears throat> you can hear Ooh. it sounds like maybe like a light conversation coming from the direction of Lady Blackwell's office She's probably talking to someone. You can hear her voice just a little bit louder, but you can't quite make out what she's saying from here. Um, Lady Blackwell? Lady? As you poke your head into her room, you can hear distinctly enough, it sounds like her voice coming from the sitting room. Away if you need, lady. I will. 
How is she today? You would see a red mark on Cedric's face. Did she, uh... Mm-hmm. Did she explain why, or did she just kind of... You said it's rude to ease, even though you knock on a door and call out. And try and make your presence known as much as physically possible. I just sorry. Yep. Hey, just stay down that side of the manor and I'll I'm going. Yeah.
Uh, excuse me? Uh, hello? Nathaniel, I was in the... Oh, you handled this? Well, except for the... Bottles, I wasn't quite sure what to do with that. I'm sure it's fine. As long as it's not too dusty. This is rubbish. We can we can throw these out, Cedric. <sighs> He's been having a rough night. It wasn't the one. That is why I'm worried about. It's a teddy bear, Cedric. And what did we see the last time we were here? Yeah, but it's not here, is it? Let's go to the kitchen and throw so this out. Because you're close here, picking up bottles and cleaning up in general, you can see there's a depression in the couch, like someone small has been sitting right next to the teddy bear. Come on. Do you not see? Oh. Like someone had been sitting there. Well, it's a it's a couch. <laughs> People sit oh, on sorry. couches, Cedric. <laughs> Nathaniel, the problem is, is that I'm not... It's not... The shadow... I am worried about in this manner anymore. It's the old woman that runs it. You be careful about what, what you say. the shadow's just a kid and it needs to move? We don't know, Cedric. We should talk about this when we're not, you know. There's a... Uh, Cedric, sorry, back up here just a little bit. DM note. As you grabbed the handle of the door, the door did not open. Was it does stuck? Does it feel like it's locked or does it feel like something's holding it? Feels like it's locked. So Do you have your key? Yeah. <laughs> Never have to use this. He goes in, rattles, clicks, but the handles don't move. Still feels like they're locked, though. Like you can feel it, like rattling against the latch. Uh, you know. Maybe it's jammed. I swear, I did I lock it? Hang on. Turn the key again. You hear the latch release. You hear the click. Okay. The key turns over. So the handles don't move. 
Well... Okay. Maybe the lock's busted. Something's not right. Does it feel colder in here? Doesn't feel good. Maybe she, uh... Is there somebody outside the door? Um... Cedric? Hmm? Do you... What? See that? See what? By the fire? No. What are you talking about? Are you okay? Was that always that black? What? I don't know. I'm s I... I don't know. I don't see anything. I would like to leave now, Cedric. I, w I would also like to leave, but something's... What is going on? Maybe there's an extra key in here or something. What's with these? I don't know if there's a guard listening to me, but if there is, I want to try something. I'm going to kneel down. No! Oh. So that my trackers can't see me anymore, apparently. I'm gonna lean against the door and be like, hey, I don't know if you're there, little buddy. Do you remember us? We brought you, we, we traded bread for your apple. And a tomato. I was wondering if you could do me a favor and open the door for me. <sighs> Cedric, we. If you do, I. I promise I'll give you my next roll of bread. Is it is it there? I'm I'm just I'm trying. <laughs> I have nothing else to calm down. It's I'm a kid. I, it, you don't know. Yeah, well, call it call it blind faith, which just seems to be a lot of this town. Well, is it opening the door? Do I hear anything? Your heart pounding in your ears. You can't hear anything else. Your ears are ringing. The tinnitus is strong. Nathaniel, you could swear there are footsteps in the room behind you. Oh. Uh. Uh. Um. Um. C uh, Cedric? Little buddy, if you are there, please open the door. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna pull the uh. panel away from it. And I'm gonna shut the door behind me. <sighs> oh, little one, I don't know if you're there, if that was you, but I love you right now. Oh, little buddy, thank you. I saw it that time. Oh my hell. We're leaving. Miss uh, Blackwell? You knock on the door, you don't hear any response from the other side. Is the door unlocked? The door is unlocked. 
Miss Blackwell. <sighs> Dear Miss Blackwell, we couldn't find you upon completing our duties. Cedric and I have left to go back to the town. If there's anything else you need, please let us know next time we are here. And McCord. Let's grab our food real quick, but um. <sighs> Uh, uh, D DM question. Yes. So when we grew, so what we were told the last time was that when we come in, we get to eat whatever food the cook makes for us, and then we get to take food home for ourselves. Would any of that food happen to be bread? Um, there is some bread here. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take. What would have been my share of bread? I'm gonna write a, a note. Oh, actually, I don't need a note. Hey, bud. Did you open the door for me? Is that you? I wanted to say thank you. I know we're a little bit bigger than you are, but we get scared too. So thank you. And I'm, I'm gonna hold out a piece of bread. I promised you bread if you opened the door for us. And that door opened. I won't tell if you won't. What's wrong? Someone scaring you too. You get close to him. You can feel this strange sense of pressure in your ears. <clears throat> Cedric. Your vision swims a little bit. As you look at him. The space that he's in just seems to draw in the light. You can feel your vision narrowing down along the sides. Your heart's beating in your ears. Cedric. Drop down to your knees. All you can see is his feet in front of you. Drawing in all the light. Cedric. All the sound. Pulls him back a little bit. Uh, hey. Yeah, um. Look, we, uh, we, we. What, what, do you want us to go? You want us to leave? Nathaniel, your voice sounds strange in your own ears right now, like sound of the blood pumping in your neck, that tinnitus, that ringing. I'm gonna put the bread that I was holding for him down on the shelf right here with a little note next to it that says thank you. I'm gonna As you take a few steps there. away from the shelf, you feel your feet give out from you. You stumble. <laughs> The vision narrows to a pinpoint. Nathaniel, yours as well. You feel your knees weak, both of you. <sighs> Dizziness overcoming everything else. The only sound is your heart pounding in your ears. <sighs> and then... You black out. <laughs>
your vision clears again. You feel sensation return. <clears throat> Dizziness accompanies waking up, but it passes quickly enough. Uh, Cedric. <sighs> what? What happened? Oh, I repeat. Fuck. Oh. Can we please get out of here now and stop making deals with I, me? I didn't make a deal. I said thank you. And that did great for us. I'll tell you what. Nathaniel. I don't look dead, and you don't look dead, so I think we did better than we would have in the other room. But what does that mean? Samuel, as you rise, you feel in your front pocket. A letter has been stuffed in there. Oh, fuck. It looks like a very finely penned letter to Buxton in Blackwell. Buxton, how did? Oh fuck me! Oh my! Cedric, check your pockets. Yeah. Is it closed, like sealed? It is sealed, and you recognize the handwriting of the name, at least on the outside, as Lady Blackwell's. <sighs> check your oh, pockets, Cedric. I. Give a quick check to your pocket, Cedric, and you don't find anything of interest. It's just what you brought yourself. I don't know. I'm going to grab a roll of bread and leave. Did he take your bread? Yeah, I'm... Oh, hey, is there bread on the shelf? Uh, the, the bread is gone. I toss you a roll of bread. All right, we are Fucking leaving. And let's get the fuck out of here. <sighs> I can't do this again. My head's still hot. Uh, excuse me. You want me to? Take this and <sighs> what have we got to lose? <sighs> Our lives. At this point, I'm a little afraid they might be already forfeit. The, the door is open. I know for a fact we closed the door. I don't want to get stuck in there again. Are you, are you gonna? Teddy? You want the teddy? <sighs> Gosh. I'm gonna stand in a position if the door closes, it slams me. What's up? Nathaniel? Do you want me to take this somewhere? Okay. You feel that feeling behind your eyes again. Uh, I don't really want to do this again. feeling behind your eyes gets stronger. Yeah. You feel something break loose. There's a trickle of something down your lip. Okay. You feel the scar on your chest burn. Ah. Okay. This has been fun. The hand. 
Yeah, I, this has been fun. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try... Yeah, thank you. Okay. Ugh. As you look down onto the ground, you lean over, you can see blood dripping freely from your nose. It's run down your cravat onto your shoes. I run over, I'm gonna grab, grab it in the and I'm gonna start pulling him out. Let's go, come on. Let's right, let's go. Let's Out, get outside. Get outside. Unless there's a DM note that I can't open this door too. These doors open without a problem. And they close without a problem. <laughs> Is it still dripping? It's running just a little bit. You can, when you put your fingers up underneath or along your lip, you can feel blood there, but it's not running freely like it was before. It looks like it stopped. We need to leave. Come on. Oh. Yeah, oh god, that's uh, a lot of blood. Ah. Uh. <sighs> we need to talk to, uh, someone. <sighs> and do what? If we fucking... <laughs> if we cause a panic, everyone will... <laughs> I don't know. We need to be... Stay away from the manor. They don't go up there anyway. We can't cause a Let's panic. Tell Let's tell the region. Yeah, I'll tell the region. Let's not start a panic. I'm fucking panicking. Yeah, we just. Uh. You are bleeding. It's. We just passed out. Yeah, I got a letter to give to Buxton. You got a letter in my pocket after I woke up. Yeah, well, it's not hard for them to slip something on you when you're unconscious. Yeah, well, I wasn't the one trying to give bread to a... thing. Yeah, well, I wanted that thing to save us because there was another thing in there. Yeah, and that thing made us pass out. I... And that is the thing I don't... What if they're the same thing? I, I wholeheartedly think they're the same thing. I don't know if it's... They look the same, aside from their size. I haven't seen them both at the same time. I didn't, I didn't see a body on one. I saw eyes. I saw eyes too. Nathaniel. What if it's not something they do by choice? What if it is just by being there that happens? What do you mean? Well, this is just... Looking at it gave me a headache. Yeah, it holding my hand nearly killed me. Let's uh. What, what, why'd you fucking touch it after the first? It time? was holding his hand out. It was. It seemed okay. And yet you are the one who is berating me for trusting it to open a door, but you'd grab its hand. It grabbed my hand first There's of all. Some I don't know, when Cedric. You out, I watched you. I didn't. It I'm did. not going back to that manor. Not without fucking fire and pitchforks with me. I refuse. I'm switching maps. I refuse and there is nothing anybody... Continue this conversation in the next map! That's yep, fair. You guys that's, are that's good <clears throat> Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm a dead man. Dream of the big face? Yeah, the classic jump scare.
I'm gonna die. The demon's gonna eat me. I'm gonna be eaten. Shall we? Well, well. <laughs> Cedric, I don't want to be in character and scared. <laughs> I don't. I would no. very much like to leave. Yeah. The further away I can get from that place, the better. <sighs> Nathaniel, as you've come down that switchback path from the manor itself, the bloody nose had stopped. The, you thought the dizziness had passed, but you can't help this feeling of vertigo as you're walking, this sense of <sighs> being dizzy, a little nauseous. Ugh. Hey, uh, Cedric, I... What's wrong? I think I lost a little more blood than I thought. I'm... Ugh. I'm a little foggy right now. <sighs> well, the best thing we can do for you in every sense of the way is getting you black back to Blackwell for right now. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. should probably talk to Miss Baymont or we something. If we need to take it slower, let me know. <sighs> I don't know if you heard it. She was talking to something. I... Yeah, I thought she had a visitor or something. There was no one in the room. What do you mean? She opened the door, slapped me for being an eavesdropper, and walked away. I went to close the door. There was nobody in the room, Nathaniel. She's mentioned to me before that she couldn't speak to the father directly sometimes. Maybe she was praying. Oh, oh did she now? This leads me to more questions than answers about the father. <sighs> yeah, I mean the the father, father. You know, the. Not... That's. I, I understood what you were saying, okay. Daniel. But. Yeah. It leads to the question: Is he really this god we think he is, <sighs> or is he something much, much more sinister? Or is something pretending to or be is him? That the father. That's, that was the next one on my list, yes. I don't... I don't know if you noticed, but there are more of those statues around. There's one in our office, too, and one I in noticed. the side rooms. Also one in the dining room. I don't know if they've been there the entire and time, or I'm just that. noticing them. Because I know what to look for. And also is one in the room with the thing that locked us in. I don't like this. Like my vision was just... Uh. A 
it was like I wasn't watching the world as it is. It was like I was just participating. Stuck in a void. <sighs> Just then you keep on the right side of the trail here. I don't want you getting dizzy and falling off this edge. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I can full well admit my biases, and I can admit my shortcomings. I don't like Lady Blackwell. I don't. She mistreats us and has now physically assaulted me. Whether we can do anything about that isn't the part of the discussion. I don't like her, but she is far more dangerous than we thought. We're trying to play it safe. We also didn't get paid. Playing it safe? Fuck, you didn't pay. You, your pain was your life today. <sighs> the next time a fucking merchant wants to go talk to her, I'll give her a letter that says, Go fuck yourself. I'm not going back there. Without some form of armament. Like, how can you protect against that, Sentry? Gun, a spear? I'm worried about her! <laughs> well, talk to the blacksmith, they might be able to make you something. I'm just saying, think about it this way. Look at what almost happened to us. Look at what's happening to you! <laughs> You're still unwell. She lives there. And she's fine. Why is... why is she fine? I don't know what that kid wanted. Why was it pointing at the bear? Why did the rocking chair start moving? I... I saw a figure in there earlier. It was like a lady. Not the kid. It still had the, the eyes. That was the... You saw the thing! It was... Right? I saw the eyes, I, I didn't see any figures. It was a figure. It was we reaching out. The fireplace. Yeah. It was the same figure that later had us backed you against the see. door. I, all I saw were eyeballs. It was reaching right. out for me. Yes, that's why I pulled you out of the room as soon as the door opened. <sighs> <sighs> Nathaniel, I, I get that I am panicking, and I don't want to go there because of an emotional high. I don't think you should ever go back to that place. I don't want to. For your own safety. It's not about what you want. Don't do it. Don't say you don't want to, like you're going to go anyway. I don't want to draw the ire of Lady Blackwell any more than we already have. I... If she can walk among those like things without getting hurt, what does that say about her? What if she yeah, can do she's things? Upset with us and we do our job perfectly fine. And you notice how every time we've gone up, ever since the day I cut my hand... Nathaniel, come on. Think about this. Ever since I cut my hand, weird stuff has been happening. Did you notice that? I noticed it. It was happening before then. Just not as bad, no, 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 maybe. No, 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 this place, this place was always a sh shitty hellhole. Don't get me wrong. Hunting started drying up, so we hold a ritual. Prayers of the old ways, and they ask for blood. We don't have a pig. Lady Blackwood points out that there are plenty of people, and I offer up. Suddenly, we've given blood to this quote-unquote father, 
and people started seeing these shadow figures. Lucas got grabbed. Kaylin has been attacked by something. The region went missing for a night.